in this lecture we will talk about multivariate data analysis through simca for opls or o2pls modeling if the score plot shows a group or a pattern like that it is advisable to understand the differences but if the grouping is not clear then we do a PLSDA or a more focused or more biased modeling but if we have a y variable then we need to do OPLS or OPLSDA or O2PLS or O2PLSDA especially when somebody is interested in the relationship with responses like y in uh, any way all the time even we are if you are we are doing pls or pls or o2 pls or even pca we need to fit uh, the model at every time for opls we start always like in any case of psa or PL, plsda start with the file the new and regular project there is an option of batch project as well but for that we need a need a batch data so for a common the regular project we just click on a regular project and then select the targeted excel sheet in our previous lectures we already mentioned that how to write the excel data or the data set in an excel sheet so when we open it this excel sheet by default it is showing some error so it so always whenever you open an, a data set you need to check it so in this secondary variable it's not the secondary variable actually we just need to exclude the column okay. it was some error i don't know why it appeared like this maybe there is an issue in our excel sheet maybe this column is there just just for referencing but in any way we don't need it here then we have secondary id this this one is the qualitative id but this is the secondary id and this is the primary id and the primary primary id and this one is the primary id for variables if you observe this thing previously it was a quantitative data and then it was showing issues here in the red lines but when we do it correctly secondary id then there is no problem there and then we finish it by clicking this finish button okay, before finishing this thing we, we we need to see our y variable also in the end if we finish it here and save it on the desired location still we can categorize uh, the x variable and y variable and i will do it later stage as well so in this stage if we like to do x and y variables by default this program simca it will categorize all the variables as x variable so for y variable we need to click on the data select it drag it then we can say y variable from here by left click and then it will uh, this selection bar will appear or we can just select it like this and just click on this y variable now it is y variable here and then we can finish it asked me about the file location and okay yes and yes as our data set at this position we excluded the excluded or removed the data from this this part 
that was an enamel data and we didn't like to have the, any number or any value here in this region so there is a window that term 4.96 contains only zero values different from the median and we just say yes and then 0.92 and then 4.88 and the same we can do it simply yes to all because we know our data now as mentioned previously we need to do out of it by default it is it appears pls here with 39 numbers of samples with a higher r2x and r2y is higher than 0.5 it, it must be r2x must be near to uh, it's better to that it should be near to one but still it's okay 0.759 and then q square cumulative and then it's okay In the same way we can add component we can remove the components from here if it's only one component appearing in the summary of it we can always mention, click this two first and it will show us the two first components same like pc and plsda we can click on overview plot or score plot or loading plot or by clicking score plots we can select the 3d plot or loading plot in 3d plot it's same like PCR PLSD so we can always search here and find our Y variable you can see these two blocks the green are the X variables and the blue is the y variable we can see it from the le legend we can have a score plot we can have a loading plot or by clicking analyze and by plot we can have a by plot as well Same we can do hierarchical clustering. Hierarchical clustering, it's HCA is a bottom up approach for hierarchical clustering analysis of the selected vector. The resulted plot, plot is actually a dendrogram. So we just click on it and then OK. From it appears like this HCA window. For HCA, we just we can select the label types, primary labels or secondary labels, whatsoever it is. Then the primary and we just mention the colors and item selections. We can exclude the item, remove it from here, and okay. So, so this is HCA, a dendrogram. Same we can do the PLS tree. A PLS tree is a cluster analysis using a series of nested PLS models and it, it, it is uh, it, this approach is a top to bottom approach and clustering is bottom to up approach. Anyway, we do the PLS tree. Next, next and finish and it will finish with our PLS tree. In PLS tree, it generates a number of components or models like here. Even in this lecture, we are not focusing on PLS. Always remove by just selecting it and then delete and then select this model and delete 
So for PLS model, we like to do, if, if we like to do OPLS to see the effect of X on Y, in this data set, I used the data from a published article of mine where we studied the effect of heavy metals on some phytochemicals or metabol metabolomic profile of brassica. We applied 